Everyone's doing okay. I have a couple of shares for you. I hope uh, we don't have too many noise. Maybe I'm gonna turn this fan off. Uh, there comes a lot of traffic. Okay, so I uh, worked on two albums. They're both from. Gen of Eve designs. This one is a 6x9 printable envelope album. It's in the shape of a 6x9. It's not really 6x9, it's uh, a little over 4.5 by 6, I believe. Yeah, or 6. And the other one is a top note printable album, which is this one. So I'm going to show you the 6x9 one. Uh, I tied it off with a, uh, a sari, sari ribbon. Sari, sari ribbon. Okay. So this is what it looks like. When you open it up, this is one side of the 6x9 envelope. And this is the other side. These are printable templates, and I use the collage, collage print. So in here you have a, an envelope. And there's a little, no, I didn't put a journaling card in there, I thought I had. So this is an envelope. You can put pictures or journaling cards. These are nice. Uh, albums to print out the templates. You can use your own uh, paper also if you print the plain template onto uh, your own scrapbook paper. So let me see, do I, do I have this upside down? I probably do. This would be the last page, I believe. No, I had it like this. Okay. So this is the first page. There's some journaling space. And I haven't put anything on this. I don't think I will. Because it has that uh, nice collage print on it. And I don't want to make it too thick. So we'll see. So here's a, a journaling card. And this smaller envelope. Here's a, see I was upside down. Here's a, a pocket. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Here's another pocket. And I believe it has a little, another small envelope. This one doesn't have anything in it. And this one I showed you already, I think. The journal card. The pocket. There's another journaling card. These are big cards. Also, these can be used as uh, uh, mat frames for pictures, which is usually what most people use them for. This one is. Three and three fourths by five and one fourth. Here's another pocket. Some envelope. This one has a small card in it.
Then we have the, the smaller uh, six by nine looking envelope. It has a little card. It opens up for journaling and or pictures. And this is a side pocket. Journaling card. <coughs> Speaking low I know it. And this is a for the side of the envelope. So it closes like that. You go around. Longer ribbon side, you go around and you tie it. I think I did this right. One. Oh, I'm right. There you go. Oof. What was that all about? And you make a little bow there. That's one. <coughs> the other one I downloaded and played with was this one, the Top Note Printable Album. <coughs> Excuse me. For this one, I used my own uh, scrapbook papers, several, uh, several different ones on the cover. There's a lace embroidered uh, nutcracker, a bow, some of this uh, ribbon, what's this called, Sonoma ribbon, and this nice little thing that I found. And a snowflake, two snowflakes. I also used uh, book binders. Uh, put some ribbons. First, I used a ribbon, but then I, I was able to find some of these one inch uh, book binders, which is the best way to bind these books. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, here's a. Uh, Inside front page, this is a chipboard. <laughs> okay, we have a pocket here. This is one of uh, the poinsettias from Tim Holtz die cut. There's a nice little envelope. I used two buttons to tie them out. Uh, she has a name for these envelopes, but I don't remember what it is. So you can open it, and there's a journaling card in here. There's two. Yeah, two of them. And that goes in this envelope. The poinsettia. And I think this is why she calls it a top, top note, because of the shape of this page. Here's one page. Here's some. The, in the back side, you can uh, glue paper there if you want to journal, or you can really journal over this and use these as lines. Here's another page. Another smaller page. This one opens. Little booklet. It's got a little uh, cracker there. Cookie, gingerbread cookie. Bear with me. <laughs> Here's a pocket. It has a. This one opens up also. <coughs> Just 
down so I can get this in here. There. Let's check it to see. I think, yeah, it's a double pocket. No, it's not. You hear a horse. So in this page, you have a pocket. These are glued together. Then you have a pocket in here. It's a booklet. Opens up for journaling. I put on a little sticker here that says do not open till Christmas. And behind that you have a pocket. Put these three little snowmans. They're cut out of felt and they have some glitter on them. And here's uh, another one of those uh -huh. booklets. I'm just looking at a new moose that I got there. Placetta. One of these uh, centers I painted with a uh, permanent gold marker. Gave it a little tint. Here's one of those bigger envelopes. I'm trying to remember what she calls these, but I can't remember. A weird name. So I put two buttons here and some string. Got this paper so you can open it. And you have a booklet in here. And here's another. It's kind of like a tag. It's in here. There you have another page that is a pocket. A little tag in there, a little glitter decoration, another page, these two pages go together. This is for a pen, let me see if one of these fit in there, I don't think so, but if it doesn't fit, you can just grab it onto that tab and have your pen there. I'll make it big enough it would fit. I don't know if I can open that, but I'd rather not try. So I'm going to be leaving a pen in here. You can't put the... Let me see. There. You can put that part of the pen inside, then just attach the pen. Okay, so there's another page. Here's a, one of those open side pockets. I made this tag. This isn't part of the template. Here, what do we have here? Another side pocket with another tag. <coughs> Here's this side pocket. Doesn't have anything in there. It's a side pocket and another poinsettia. This is the inside back cover. And that's what it looks like in the back. So those are the uh, two albums I was playing with this weekend. Also, let me get this out of the way. Last night, while I was watching a movie, it's kind of a series of St. Therese with Jesus. And I made these tags. 
These are from a digital download, I believe it's already made. I used them for a the previous album I had made. But these were leftovers. I needed to glue them up to, to reinforce them. So I did that last night. And I have this uh, topper here, which is a nice glittery white ribbon. So I cut and reinforced these. Some of them are on uh, book pages. I made this little pocket to glue onto a book, so I guess I'm going to be making another Christmas album or junk journal. I love Christmas. This is a pocket I made was from one of those uh, mm -hmm. the top notes. When you cut them out, when you cut the page out, you can see the shape there. So I did. I used that. Made a, an envelope out of book paper. Put some stickers there. Some of that digital paper. Already made digital paper. And this little envelope. A little Christmas tree. That's what that sticker says. There's another envelope with a music sheet. Which I believe is from the same digital uh, collection. Uh, this Santa I cut out of uh, scrapbooking paper. I had it right here. I don't know where it went. But anyway, I cut it uh, around. I cut a circle and opened a slit there. You just put it in there to close it. This is a little felt reindeer. And an envelope, oh, not an envelope, a little stamp. And this is a, a big tag I made with a package. <coughs> uh, collaged it with digital paper using a package. So that's what I did last night. And that's my share. I hope you would enjoy this video if you like. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please do. See you uh, in some, some, some time get it, my uh, thousand subscribers. So guys, hope you have a nice week. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.